Hi everyone, it's Josh here, and today in a, this quick video I'm going to talk about uh, phishing emails and what phishing uh, emails are and how to capture them. Specifically, this is about uh, Facebook phishing emails that you you might get and because you're just starting advertising, you might get scared and you might get hacked. Alright, so what is phishing email? So phishing email is basically uh, an email that try to say that they're coming from someone else so for example i send an email and i modify it to look like a your bank email like the logo everything even the name might be very very similar with like a small typo or a misspell and then i put a link in it and that link if you click on that link or tap on that link as soon as you do that I can run some scripts and some code and get access to your password and all, all those kind of things. So it is very, very important not to do that. And I'm going to show you how you can actually detect these type of emails. Now, I'm in my spam folder, obviously, because I've already noticed that these were uh, uh, phishing. And I told my Google to put them in spam. Otherwise, they were actually coming into my inbox. Now, as you can see, a lot of them are saying meta business, like this one was obvious, it says meta for business. So, but a lot of them that it says meta business and the way that it works is very, very genius. So usually it happens as soon as you uh, submit your ad, they, they get access to those data and they're going to start sending you an email that, hey, your ad is rejected or your business scan has been restricted for advertising. And they know that uh, you've just started and you might be very likely to actually click on any link that they have specifically if they say you're restricted or something's going to happen to you. So a couple of things before clicking on anything. Uh, if you're on your computer, it's, it's much easier, but you can do the exact same thing on your phone as well. So the first thing is like when you open the email, you want to make sure you look at the from address. So you see, this is definitely not a Facebook address. You might sometimes get like facebook.co or Facebook with just one O. So instead of Facebook, it's going to be Facebook. So you want to make sure that you read that very, very carefully. And as soon as this is, this is going to be your first flag. As soon as this is not Facebook or legit, just basically delete that email. And then the other thing that is, that makes it more obvious is before clicking on any link on your emails, that's if you're on your computer, if you hover over it, so I'm just gonna hover over this guy. If you look at down at the bottom left corner of my uh, Chrome, you will see that it shows a link. It says help center dash case ID 24712.web.app. This is definitely not a website URL. This is a website app because they have a script written there that is going to run as soon as you click on this and they're going to store your data. So as soon as you see something that they, like this that doesn't make sense to you, that the link doesn't make sense to you, do not click on it. And this is just for Facebook. You're going to get a lot of these. I've, I've seen people that their banks got hacked just simply because the email was looked exactly like their bank email. And they just click on it and they ran the the website to be look exactly like the bank and they ask hey put on your information as soon as you put your information in they're gonna capture that and within the next 30 seconds they're gonna update your password and everything so make sure that you check this out because recently i've passed uh, a couple of my students been actually hacked like this that they were just starting and they lost their facebook page facebook profile business management account and all the stuff that they've been doing so they have to start from scratch so Definitely make sure that you check this out and do not click on any link without knowing and checking that link before. Super, super important. I hope this one was helpful. And yeah, if you like it or if you know anyone that might uh, this might be useful for them, please do make sure that you share. And also, as usual, like, subscribe and join my weekly live webinar as well that I'm uh, holding every Thursday, 9 a.m. Australian time. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.